come on guys let's now quickly revise our accounting standard 9 which talks about revenue recognition accounting standard 9 talks about two things one timing number two criteria for recognition of revenue when to recognize and when what criteria is fulfilled should we recognize the revenue and this particular standard of accounting standard 9 is not applicable in following cases one to recognize revenue with regard to construction contracts because it is already regulated by a7 and it is not applicable again in recognition of revenue from leases because we have accounting standard 19 against it and also when we are re receiving grant from the government we don't have to apply accounting standard 9 because accounting standard 12 specifically covers how to recognize government grant and insurance gra insurance contracts are not covered under accounting standards only so for recognition of revenue on insurance contracts again we won't apply accounting standard 9 there the revenue recognition will happen on accrual basis sorry uh, actuarial basis so actuarial signs whoever would have heard of they will give you the basis based on which you can recognize your revenue covering the considering the risk involved in insurance contracts what does the word revenue mean revenue includes inflow of cash if you received cash or sometimes you have not yet received but you are able to receive receivable and it need not be cash it can be non cash consideration as well so revenue is cash received or receivable or non cash consideration arising because of or arising from sale of goods rendering of services or other items like royalty interest and dividend so if you have sold goods when to write the sale entry on fulfillment of what criteria should you write the sale entry if you are rendering services when and at what point of time should you decide to write the service receipt entry and when should we record interest income when should we record royalty income when should we record dividend income is the things that is covered under this standard and that should arise from the ordinary course of operation got it then what are the exclusions from revenue see the sale of ppe is covered under as 10 that is not covered under accounting standard 9 derecognition disposal we will edit this next thing is liability settled against rest or restated below carrying amount. let's say you have a liability you owe money to someone because you didn't pay the money to them they come to your shop they take your inventory and go that's not sale for recognizing sale entry there we will not learn from accounting standard 9 or if in case you reduce the value of the inventory because nrv is lesser than the cost that is not sale again that is again not covered under accounting standard 9 or forex rate changes or translation differences are treated as per s11 and not here let's say you sold goods for thousand dollars when the exchange rate is 80 so you rate attached to sales 80 80 at a later date then the exchange rate goes to 85 rupees per dollar so for the same sale which you had recorded at thousand dollars into 80 now it should be restated for the receivable thousand dollars into 85 because data is a monetary item such restatement what you do which will increase your receivable by some 5000 or 500 whatever that profit that will arise that is not as9 regulated revenue that is as per accounting standard 11 it will go to feda foreign exchange difference account and from there to pnl account that is not regulated by as9 as9 will not tell the timing and criteria to recognize that revenue understood talking about specific items in as9 like i told you the first part is sale of goods second part is rendering of services third one is interest royalty and dividend when do you recognize revenue from sale you recognize revenue from sale when it fulfills the following conditions that is transfer of risk reward and effective control risk who has the responsibility if the asset goes into damage or if that item goes into damage reward who has the right to utilize that product effective control is nothing but possession so when you transfer risk reward and effective control you can recognize the revenue by rating sale entry provided there is no significant uncertainty in consideration you don't have any doubt about receipt of consideration you are confident that you will receive consideration or you are not doubtful about not receiving consideration so two points number one on transfer of risk reward and effective control number two no significant uncertainty involved with regard to consideration when both the conditions are tick we will recognize revenue got it this is general rule but over a period of time due to development in the modern way of doing business lot of things have changed now customized orders will be taken products will be made on the order of the customer when the product is made on the order of the customer that is special order revenue will be recognized when the goods are ready certain cases the sale is over when it is installed in such case revenue will be recognized when the product is installed at the customer's location 
certain items which are based on technology installation is not sufficient you need to check its functioning and technical issues just to be checked and you need to certify that it is fit for use in such case revenue will be recognized when the installation is done and inspection is done at buyer's approval got it if the goods are sent on return or approval basis then the revenue should be recognized when the goods are accepted or when the time to return has lapsed whichever is early revenue will not be recognized when the goods are given on return or approval basis revenue will be recognized when the goods are accepted by the receiver or time to return has lapsed whichever is earlier then the last one is what if the buyer requests delayed delivery you are ready to deliver the goods you are about to give it to him suddenly he says hey wait 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 deliver it to me after a week then what to do because the goods are ready for delivery and it is a customer who is asking for delay you have to book the revenue on the day it is ready and the day you are ready to deliver not on the day of actual delivery only in the case where customer has requested for delayed delivery by this we are done with recognition of revenue on sale of goods next we will discuss recognition of revenue on service see on service no whenever right to receive is established whenever service is complete we need to recognize revenue but in the modern day business what they have done is they have mixed more than one service together artificially it's bundled in that case what do you do if it is single service when that service is complete we will recognize revenue when it involves more than one service along bundled proportionately say let's say five services together the revenue is charged two services are complete three are pending against two services proportionate amount will be transferred to revenue against the balance three services even if the money is collected it will remain as advanced it will not be treated as revenue did you understand however in certain special cases you require client approval for saying that the service is done if the client doesn't say yes the service is actually not complete in that case we will wait for the client approval and then we will call it done and then we will recognize revenue because right to receive is established only after we have another case wherein subject to specific task see specific task when it is complete only then the service is complete in that case till the time that service is completed till the time the task is not completed you will not recognize revenue we have the right to receive the money only on the completion of such task on that date when the task is complete we will recognize the revenue understood then comes our special items which is interest royalty and discount interest is recorded on time basis let's say interest is paid by annually once in 6 months on 30th of september and 31st december we received on 31st december the interest income let's say on debentures we are an investor january february march 3 months we have held the debentures interest will be received on 30th june on 31st march for these 3 months you record accrued interest entry that is we have the right to receive the entry but it will be received after 6 months that is another 3 months from 31st march so interest will be recognized on time basis and how do we record royalty on accrual basis subject to terms of the agreement we don't have much of royalty in ca inter but it will be subjected to short working short working recovery allowed we call it recoup recoup allowed recoup not allowed fixed floating several things so based on the contract we will decide how much revenue to be recognized we don't have those calculation here in ca inter then dividend dividend we will recognize the dividend income not when it is proposed only when it is declared so declaration of the dividend is the trigger for recognition of income as an investor i would recognize my dividend income when i have the right to receive that is on declaration of dividend and the last point that you should note is recognition of revenue is subject to this basic things also what we need to check is is there significant certainty of collection of consideration i have given the product i have transferred the risk i have transferred the ownership i have done everything but there is significant uncertainty about collection of consideration then i should not recognize revenue i should wait till the date i have significant right to significant certainty so though everything else is done if there is no significant certainty of collecting consideration wait till the date of significant certainty on that date you recognize revenue second possible scenario is what if you assume its significant certainty and book the revenue later that uncertainty happened now there is no certainty then what to do whatever revenue what you already booked to pay debt cannot be taken out but you create provision to ensure to say that there will be bad debts are you guys getting it there are couple of disclosure requirements you need to tell what is your accounting policy for recognizing revenue and 
if there is any change arising in accounting policy with, recogni with regarding to recognizing the revenue, you also have to state that there is change in the accounting policy for recognition of revenue. Got it? And that's accounting standard 9, revenue recognition.